life. A person who wants, to, who is set on having uh, a strong heart, pursuing the heart of God, building strength in the inner man, is a person who's sensitive about sins in their life. They readily, here's what I mean, they readily agree when God's Spirit convicts them of sin. Psalm 25, 10 and 11. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and truth to those who keep His covenant and His testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Now my understanding of that word great is that this is the Hebrew word rab, R-A-B, meaning many or great. He's not talking about a sin that was big. He's talking about magnitude. The number of my sins. He, David had a sensitivity concerning sin in his life. You know Ephesians 4.30? Grieve not this Holy Spirit of God who is in you. This person, when sin knocks at the door, boy, just quickly, they're sensitive about that. Sensitive to, if they've already engaged in the sin, to confess, to agree with God about that, to repent, to turn from that, to forsake that. This is a person who allows God to break the sin habits in their life. That's somebody that's very sensitive to the Holy Spirit. So, so all the Holy Spirit has to do, so to speak, is just a gentle touch. And they, and they uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I need to back away from that. Whereas some of us, you know, us folks from Missouri, you know, it's a two by four. <laughs> up the side of the head. Oh, I get it. Because there's times in our life we can get a little hard-hearted about this. Right? I mean, either by pride, one of the very sins themselves, or maybe because of some hidden, we think, hidden sin starts building up. And you know when you cover sin, you can't prosper. You know why you don't prosper? Because the spiritual callus builds up. You become insensitive. So when the Spirit's touching, He's touching the callus. This is talking about a sensitive heart. This is talking about that when, when I sin against God in one of these ways and the Spirit of God says, All right, Phil, you know you should not have said that. You should not have had that look on your face. You, shouldn't, you, know, you should have done what I told you and you didn't. 